Hey, howdy, hey, Helsing here, and... Holmes here. And welcome back to another special episode of The Overcast. Very special. Very special. Why is it <laughs> special today, Holmes? Well, it's special for one thing, because we're back. We're back! After so long. Sorry, guys, for that, uh, you know, big gap. But, you know, we, got, we can only work with so much here. Um, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, it's also very special because just this last week, there was an event at Blizzard Entertainment Studios, and it was a press release mm. that we had happened to hear about, and um, so Helsing and I decided to go pay Blizzard a little visit. A little visit to the old Blizzard. So, there was a press event, as Holmes said, and... It was exclusive, right? You know, so exclusive, exclusive that the likes of us YouTube podcasters <laughs> were not we're invited. invited. We did not take offense to this. We said, we, Let's, said, we live close. We're going to go and try and get into that event. If you're wondering how things turned out, go ahead and take a look at this short clip of our experiences at Blizzard. Check it out. Wow. Here we go. Green light. Hey, there's green light. Green light. Hello, Hi. we're here for the Overwatch press event. Okay, can I see a, what do I do real quick? Of course. Are you sure it's today? Yeah. Are you sure it's today? I'm 100% sure. You are 100% sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> mine too. Oh. So, if you want to see how the end of that episode, or how that, our little adventure in Irvine, ended up, I would suggest clicking the link in the description below. That'll take you to the full footage that we got from Blizzard um, during this right. press event. So, obviously, <laughs> it, was a, it was a heck of a time. It was a heck of a time. Beautiful day. Got to see Blizzard. That was fun. It I had cool. never seen uh, the Blizzard studio before, so or the outside. I can't say the inside. Yes. But, so don't. We're not. Woo. We're not spoiling anything. We're not doing anything illegal. So, just go ahead and check that out. So now. Um, the whole point of this press event is kind of leading up to next week, March 6th, PAX East, um, in Boston. The Overwatch team is going to be there, and there's going to be some announcements, some reveals. So, uh, pretty much the whole point of this press event, from what I have gathered, is just to get these people in the press um, playing the game before PAX. Maybe some of them are not going to PAX, and so Blizzard brought them to their studios, but... Um, so a lot of these people are making these content. So March 6th, you can check out their channels, um, and they'll be, they'll have stuff already ready to talk about from their experiences. So um, I know we'll be checking those out. We will definitely sure. yes. March 6th, we'll have another episode right here on this channel to uh, talk about everything and anything that is talked about at PAX East regarding Overwatch. So we'll be we'll be back. Um, mm -hmm. Now there was some things like just recently another new piece of information that was kind of teased, which we will find out, I'm sure, get about at PAX. But, so that is this. Or is it this? Who is that, you might ask? Well, that might be Jeff Kaplan, director of Overwatch, and that might be us there with the selfie and, um, taking a selfie with him. <laughs> a selfie with Kaplan. A, a selfie with Kaplan. So, if you want to know that? how that might have happened, I would again suggest watching our video, Just Experience me. Adventures to Blizzard. Anyways, so this is the real thing we're talking about right here. This was a hero teaser that um, Overwatch posted on their Twitter account. So let's talk about this, Holmes. What do you All think? Right. Obviously, this guy is a hero that's going to be probably <laughs> announced yes. at well, Path East. It's looking like he's some kind of Russian former bodybuilder, uh, potentially, I don't, I don't know, maybe boxer? A boxer? Uh, okay. See, there's a, I've I've seen some other speculations online. A lot of people are guessing perhaps this guy's a cyborg. You know. Okay. It does say uh, on the magazine, yeah. a bionic grade boot camp body. Bionic you know what that grade entails. boot camp. I, so man with, you know, bionics. Uh, 
Do you Could think? Be. Are you predicting melee champion? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, just the the silhouette itself suggests melee. Um, but you know, Blizzard could throw all sorts of crazy twists on this guy. Um, you know, it, he doesn't just have to be the stereotypical uh, brawler, melee brawler. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, perhaps his bionics give him some kind of uh, enhanced abilities that you know any old fighter wouldn't have otherwise. Perhaps. So yeah, it's. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll have to see. We'll have to, we'll have to take the two tickets to the gun show. Two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> what I'm going to have to... I'm going to go ahead right now and say that this guy's name is Dimitri. Oh, it's... His name is Dimitri. Dimit Dimitri Stanislavski. That's my prediction. Um, just because of this writing, it, it appears to be in Russian. I do not speak Russian. But, I mean, come on, you can't have, you can't have a bodybuilding... Russian dude and his name not be Dimitri. Right. And Blizzard doing. does like to fill stereotypes, but uh But in a good yeah. way. We shed light. Yeah. Also the yes. only Germ uh the only Russian person I've ever met was named Dimitri, so it would make a lot of sense. Um yeah. it's it's interesting that they showed this and not um another one of the other like three or four heroes that we've seen actual yeah. pictures of. Um, like the the ninja guy, ninja uh, samurai, or Clint yeah. Eastwood, cowboy, or the big fat <laughs> hazmat guy, yep. um, or any of the others. So it's so, Pax East, March sixth at ten thirty Eastern. So here on the West Coast, we'll be watching that at seven thirty in the morning. Um, so hopefully we'll we'll get a couple hero reveals, maybe a new map, mm. um, and hopefully, potentially. A release date on beta. Well, it, did you see that the, there was a uh, Facebook picture of a potential new map? Yes, I did that see that. Added. That's and probably looks... also going to be another thing that yeah. before this they posted on um, on their Twitter. Another, it was a picture of definitely some kind of a map that looked yeah, almost kinda... like it almost looked like a like a like a bio so, camp or like yeah. a, a bio uh, factory type of a thing. Yeah, some kind of silo or something. Yeah, uh, some kind of a industrial science. Thing. So, yeah. So, but also, um, so Blizz Pro posted an article. They were not invited to this Overwatch event, unfortunately. Sorry to hear that, Blizz Pro. We feel your pain. We understand. But you, you guys, guys oh. you guys are awesome. But anyway, so they were invited to a similar event for Hearthstone a few years back. Now they said that after the event um, that they went to for Hearthstone was PAX East, like a week later. And they said that five weeks after they got to play in their press event, closed beta went live. So potentially, cross your fingers, we could be seeing Overwatch beta within just a little over a month. So that would be awesome. If that's the case, Holmes and I will both be streaming and we'll be making some YouTube content. And oh, if we get yeah. access, we're going to be pumping out some podcast episodes either every week, every other week, whenever it content there's stuff to talk about we're going to come and talk about it all right for sure so if you guys want to keep up to date with us or if you have any questions or comments if you you know go ahead and post in the comments below what you think this guy's name is going to be if you think he's going to be a russian dude or if you think he's going to be a melee champion or perhaps maybe he'll be like he'll be like you'll throw weights at people that would, <laughs> that would no remember crazy. he dropped the weights he's done with those yeah, well, maybe, maybe because now maybe he's he on to he's right? on to just like body weight stuff. So maybe he does oh, okay. like a push up and it kicks you in the face. <laughs> Who knows? Push up kick. Leave your speculations in the comment below. If you right. liked this podcast, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out. Gives us a little bit of traffic, and it's always good to have traffic on the internet, but not on the roads. You know what I'm saying? Also, one more thing. Um, I have been. Or I just started a twitch account twitch and i'm active on that now so if you, want to, you know check out what i got there i did my first stream the other day on uh, heroes of the storm had some fun with that playing stitches throwing out some hooks so um yeah oh there'll be more coming and definitely when overwatch comes both helsing and i will be doing streams on that streams on that and if we get if people are enjoying it we'll play we'll play with viewers if perhaps, you know, maybe we'll do some beta key giveaways if we get access to any of those. Oh, sweet. All good maybe. things come to those who wait for Overwatch <laughs> beta. And we're, um, we've been waiting. We've been waiting. <laughs> if you have any questions or want to help out in the show or anything like that, feel free to send us an email at theovercastinbox at gmail.com. 
You can follow me on Twitter at, at Gabriel Hager. And Holmes, where can people follow you? Twitter, they can follow me at bag, B-A-G-G-0-7. Um, they can also send me an email to uh, holmes.bag, again, B-A-G-G, at gmail. Dot com. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much our episode for today. Again, we will be back here, same bat time, same bat channel, uh, next week, March 6th, to talk about whatever happens at PAX East. So oh, also, uh, sorry, I think I forgot to mention my Twitch account is Holmes1309. Holmes1309. So, kind of left you guys hanging there. Sorry. About <laughs> They're like, oh, we want to watch. We just want to see. <laughs> where, where do we go? Where, yeah. do we, where do we go? Okay, that has been the overcast thanks for watching guys thank you time much. for the outro yeah that was awesome <laughs> bye bye